Midnight Escape Terence and his best friend, Ethan, were thrilled about their weekend adventure at the Lake Mead Recreational Area. Being adventurous teenagers, they had decided to camp out overnight near the picturesque lake, far away from the bustling city life. Little did they know that this trip would turn into a heart-pounding, life-altering experience. As the sun began its descent, casting a golden hue across the tranquil waters, Terence and Ethan set up their campsite in a secluded area, hidden among the tall trees. The boys laughed and chatted, eagerly anticipating the night ahead, unaware of the danger lurking nearby. Nightfall had enveloped the landscape when Terence, with his curious nature, decided to explore the area. While wandering through the shadows, he stumbled upon a clandestine meeting of a biker gang. Hiding behind a large rock, he watched in horror as they coldly disposed of a lifeless body. His heart raced, fear gripping him like never before. Terence's heart pounded so loud that he accidentally kicked a loose stone, creating a deafening noise that echoed through the night air. The bikers immediately turned towards the source of the disturbance, their eyes scanning the darkness. Terence's heart sank as he realized his mistake. Without wasting another second, he sprinted back to the campsite, grabbing Ethan and blurting out what he had witnessed. With adrenaline coursing through their veins, the two friends hastily packed up their belongings and fled into the night. The bikers, realizing they had been discovered, revved their engines and pursued the boys with unwavering determination. Their desperate escape took them on a wild chase around the vast Lake Mead, the bikers trailing closely behind. Terence's mind raced as he racked his brain for a way to outsmart their pursuers. In a daring move, they doubled back, leaving the bikers momentarily disoriented. In the chaos, they managed to steal one of the motorcycles belonging to the gang, hoping to create further confusion and gain some distance. The boys raced away on the stolen bike, their hearts pounding, weaving through narrow paths and rocky terrain. They finally found respite at a seedy motel on the outskirts of a nearby town. Desperate to remain undetected, they abandoned the stolen bike in a secluded spot and hurriedly sought refuge in the nearest room they could find. To their surprise, they found themselves in the room of a seasoned prostitute named Rosa. Startled by their sudden intrusion, she initially reacted with caution, but upon realizing their predicament, she understood the gravity of the situation. Rosa had encountered the biker gang on numerous occasions, as some of its members were her long-standing customers. Knowing the bikers' volatile nature and their ruthless intent, Rosa took pity on the boys and quickly decided to cover for them. As the bikers arrived at the motel, their aggression palpable, Rosa skillfully diverted their attention away from her room, giving the boys a chance to escape. She used her familiarity with the gang members to convince them that the boys were long gone, hiding elsewhere in the motel. Two hours passed, filled with tension and apprehension. The boys, hiding behind the walls of Rosa's room, listened anxiously as the bikers searched for them in other parts of the motel. Rosa's clever ruse held strong, and eventually, the bikers begrudgingly left the motel, determined to track down the boys elsewhere. Exhausted but filled with gratitude, Terence and Ethan emerged from their hiding spot, thanking Rosa profusely for her bravery and quick thinking. Realizing they had nowhere else to go, they decided to spend the rest of the night in Rosa's room, seeking solace in her company. As the night unfolded, Terence, Ethan, and Rosa found unexpected comfort in each other's presence. They formed an unlikely bond, sharing stories, laughter, and card games that helped distract them from the harrowing events of the evening. Their connection transcended age and circumstance, reminding them that even amidst darkness, moments of unexpected joy and solidarity could still be found. As dawn broke, bringing with it a new day, Terence and Ethan bid farewell to Rosa, 